University of Nevada, Reno is very proud of its new marching band, the first marching band the university's had in a long, long time. It was a success. And our reporter, Rick Oxaby, takes you behind the scenes to tell you a little bit more about the band. The scene is the 1980 University of Nevada Reno Homecoming Parade, and for the first time in nearly a decade, it is being led by a UNR marching band. After such a long absence, the band's revival was the direct result of the renaissance of the UNR football program. Because of the renewed interest in UNR football, many enthusiastic supporters pushed for and helped fund the band. Besides the homecoming parade, the band has performed at halftime of every home Wolfpack football game, and it led this year's Nevada Day Parade in Carson City. In January of this year, the development and direction of the band was handed to UNR music professor A.G. McGranahan III, known by his students and others as Mac. He had to order new uniforms and equipment and hire graduate assistants before September 6th, but the toughest obstacle was recruiting members. Going around to high schools, uh, trying to talk up a program that has never existed. Uh, that's, you know, it's kind of difficult to do. So, uh, uh, mainly in area high schools here, we did a lot of recruiting by mail, by phone, uh, trying to get interested seniors to uh, make their decision to come to UNR and be in our band program. After organizing and recruiting the band, McGranahan was faced with the task of taking 116 students 45 of which had never marched before, and preparing them for the first performance, which was only three weeks away. We started before school was in session. It was about an eight-hour day for eight or nine days, and then we began our regular schedule, which now is we rehearse as a band from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock in the evenings, Tuesday through Friday. Monday we're off. Getting the routines down for halftime shows was often very frustrating for McGranahan and his band, but it was often fun at the same time. Scott. Hey, hold it. Sing your parts this time. Just sing them. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. Two, three, three. Directing the band on the field is drum major Dan Isselin, a music major who hopes to teach music in the future. He enjoys his role with the band and doesn't really mind if practice time cuts into his studying. Well, it does take a lot of my time, so I have to take a, a light load in the fall. But I enjoy it, and I don't regret taking it at all. McGranahan says the public's response to the marching band has been terrific. He thanks the tremendous support of enthusiastic boosters, and especially his graduate assistants, Larry Machado, Shelley Smithwick, and John Wacker, for the appreciation the band has received. Things have gone relatively smoothly for McGranahan and the band in their first year together. They had no real problems until the middle of the season, anyway, when they were caught in an embarrassing predicament at the homecoming game. Problems? Actually, we didn't encounter any problems until our homecoming game. and. Uh, we uh, were out on the field past 1 o'clock, and uh, we cost our team 15-yard penalty. That's the only major problem I know of at this point. The 1980 football season is over, and the new band has done its last UNR halftime show. But if McGranahan gets his wish, the marching band will have another performance to prepare for before the end of the school year. He hopes to have the band represent Nevada at the inaugural parade in Washington, D.C. Nearly 10 years ago, the UNR marching band died because of a lack of interest and funding. Will the new band suffer the same fate as its predecessor? McGranahan doesn't think so. I think it's a tradition. I think it's here to stay. Probably lasts forever. For Nevada Weekly, this is Rick Oxaby reporting.